I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, we will understand a very important characteristic of polynomials that is whether they are even functions or odd functions. They could be neither also. The question here is what must be true about the coefficient of the following functions if y equals to x square plus bx plus c is even function and part b is if y equals to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d is an odd function. I hope you remember even functions are symmetric about the y-axis and if you find f of minus x then that should be equals to f of x. For an odd function f of minus x is equals to minus of f of x and these functions are symmetric about origin right so they have rotational symmetry so that is what it is you can pause the video and answer the question here's the solution if this function has to be even then what we notice here is we have two even factors here i mean terms ax square is even c is even so that part is okay so in this case what should happen is that b should be equal to 0. Only then this function is going to be even. Let me show you how. So if I find f of minus x with b equals to 0, in that case we get a times minus x whole square. Now since b is 0, so we don't have b here, otherwise this will not be even. Right? So it's c and as you know minus x square is positive, so it is ax square plus c, right? So if b is 0, we get y equals to ax square plus c and now you can see that f of minus x is equals to y, the original function. You get the idea, right? So it is even only if b is equals to 0, otherwise it is not even because then you'll have a minus bx term in between, okay? Now let's do with the second one. So when we say this function is an odd function, in that case, first when we check it, this is odd, right? This is also odd. So we have two even terms. These terms should be zero to make this function as odd function. Do you understand? Only then this will be an odd function. So what we will do is we'll substitute these two coefficients, b equals to zero and d equals to zero. Then what we get here is y equals to ax cube plus cx. Let us test it out. So in this case, f of minus x is replace x with minus x, minus x cube plus c with minus x. And what we get here is a, and this is negative x cube, and this is negative cx. You can take negative outside, so you get ax cube plus cx, and that is negative of y, the f of x. Do you see that? So since it is negative y, it is an odd function. But if b and d are not zero, then you'll not get this condition, so it won't be an odd function. So for even function, all the terms should be even. So what we note here is all terms should be e1 and for odd func function all terms should be odd right that is kind of important and so you can decide whether a function is even or, or odd just by looking at it right so for example if you write any function which has even terms for example ax to the power of 4 plus 3 x square plus 7 this will be even function is it okay so this function has all even terms it will be even function on the other hand if you write a function g of x equals to let's say 5 x cube minus x now these are odd terms so this function is going to be an odd function is it okay so you can always test with these properties whether they really are even functions or odd functions or not. 
it is important to note we are talking about even functions not even degree okay odd functions not odd degree functions so there is a difference when we say even function then f of minus x is equals to f of x and odd function is f of minus x equals to minus of f of x so that is how even and odd functions are related i hope that helps thank you and all the best